you may believe that avoiding sugar is the best way to protect your health. And while controlling sugar amounts is a good idea for a healthy diet, doing it by using artificial sweeteners is not. There are many studies detailing the damaging effects of aspartame, which is an equal and nutrisweet. These effects were initially observed in rodents and later in humans as more of these products were used and longer periods of time passed with increased exposure. Ingestion of aspartame can result in a buildup of formaldehyde in the brain, which can cause genetic immune system and nerve system damage. Again, the FDA says that in small doses this is okay. But how much formaldehyde in your brain is safe? I don't want to find out. Damaging side effects are also being reported with the use of Splenda. Adverse effects have already been observed in rodents such as shrunken thymus glands, enlarged livers, and kidney disorders. In fact, the chemical Splenda contains chlorine and some researchers state is a closer relative to pesticides than sugar. Artificial colors are used in everything from children's cereal, salmon to make it look pinker, to beauty products. And you may think that it's no big deal, but you may not realize how many products actually contain these chemicals. Look at your boxed au gratin potatoes. Unless they are organic, you will probably see the yellow number 5 and 6 on the label. Many of these colors are created using coal tar or other petrochemicals. Artificial colors have been linked to hyperactivity in children. In fact, when artificial colors and flavors were removed from hyperactive children's diets, 79% of the children improved. The food industry has been aware of this for the last 30 years, but we continue to medicate children rather than addressing this problem. Make sure you also avoid refined sugars as they strip out the nutrients by unbleached, unrefined sugar. Any products that you do not buy that are organic, check the back label and make sure to avoid all artificial colors and sweeteners.